Hi, I'm Nolan Hames, and David Blattner challenged me to give you a three-minute InDesign tip all while juggling. So you know what? That's what I'm going to do. This is a technique that I use all the time when I'm juggling lots of different charts in an InDesign report, and I know that the charts are going to change, I know the client's going to change the, the data on it, and I just don't want to have to keep making the charts by hand in InDesign or uh, changing them in Illustrator and bringing them back over. It's just a real pain. So here's what I do to make it easier on everybody um, and uh, even the client can, can edit it. So uh, you can see I've got an InDesign report here with a bunch of charts. Uh, yeah, there are a lot of pie charts. Don't hate me. The client insisted on it. So um, these were actually created in design in PowerPoint. Yeah, I know PowerPoint doesn't integrate with InDesign, but just keep watching. So let's take this one pie chart, and if we, we're going to go over to the PowerPoint file, and we'll show that uh, they were all designed right there, one chart per slide, right? You don't have to do different PowerPoint files, and uh, I can use um, theme colors and fonts to keep sort of consistency. But the, all the data in this chart is actually embedded, just because it's a normal you know, embedded Excel file. Here, I'm going to go in, and you can see it's undesigned there. That's what the client sent to me. Uh, but it doesn't matter there because we do our design in PowerPoint. I'm going to go ahead and change the data like the client uh, kept doing on me. So we'll just change it to something you know big so you can see the change. And once the number changes, you'll see it automatically updates in PowerPoint. We'll get rid of the Excel file. We're done with it now. Once we're back in, in, in PowerPoint, we can continue editing and formatting and moving things around, doing whatever we want. Uh, once we do that, we're going to now export this PowerPoint file uh, actually, you know what, let's go ahead and change the green on it. Yeah, we're going to change that to green so you can really see uh, the difference and, and how that, uh, that works. So once we're done, then we're going to save it as a PDF. Um, and I'm going to save it in the links, and you're going to see there's actually an existing PDF called uh, All Charts. So I'm going to overwrite that PDF with what I just changed, and guess what? It's that PDF that was edited in, or actually placed in InDesign. Now, you don't have to make individual PDFs. Just one is enough. Let's open up the PDF so you can see. It's 12 different pages, and just one PDF was uh, placed with options in InDesign, and went with the options, I said, you know, you use this page or that page, and you can see that PDF is now out of date. So all we have to do is update it, and voila, there we go. Quick updated chart, and none of the other charts get affected because they didn't change at all. And there you go. So that's how I deal with juggling lots of different charts in an InDesign file. Happy, happy holidays.